First off, thank you for taking a few minutes to help me out with this uh, problem. This is an ambient occlusion problem, and um, well, let me show you what's going on here. This is a, a game asset, and uh, it's just a simple bike. This is the low poly. Um, you'll notice that it's missing spokes, and it's missing a handle, it's missing a few other things. That's because I only have the unique pieces here. Um, no overlapping shells in the UV space. Uh, so all unique uh, shells here with no overlap uh, for baking purposes. And um, I also have a high-resolution version here. And this high-resolution version has uh, sculpted entire treads and details in the seat and the, the handles and uh, just some details I would like to include in an ambient occlusion bake. And so I'd like to bake this from the high-resolution model to the low-resolution model. Um, and I've done this with simpler geometry and never had an issue, um, but for some reason I, I do here. So let me show you what I get. Um, so just so you can see, I have things set up um, down in the bake uh, pull down set to ambient occlusion. It's set to selected to active down here in the bottom right hand corner and uh, normalizes off, clears on, uh, padding of 10. All pretty standard. Uh, you saw that the low poly. Um, model had UVs uh, laid out, so I should just be able to t take the high resolution, shift select the low resolution, and click bake. I'll let this bake, but I'll pause it so you don't have to sit through it. Okay, so you can see the final bake here. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this off on the high. We'll leave it on low. You can already see that there's obviously some issues. Uh, this is what I get when the ambient occlusion pass is uh, applied to the um, to the low poly geometry. I can't quite figure this out. Like I said, I've tried this with simpler geometry. Um, all the process is the same, and uh, the results turn out fine. I've also noticed that with this particular piece of geometry, um, I also get like normal map artifacts as well. So I'm not quite sure what I'm doing wrong. With normal maps, obviously, you would take these pieces and explode them. Um, so maybe it's the fact that they're all joined together when I bake normal maps, that's probably the issue there. But with ambient occlusion maps, I know people have talked about how you should explode your mesh and bake in that way, but I don't necessarily feel like that's correct because then you don't get all the proper ambient occlusion in the, in the crevices and whatnot where things need to be occluded. So um, if you have any advice for me, I would love um, any help you can give. Thank you so much. I'm going to make this model uh, I'll make these models available for download if you want to mess around with them. I'll, I'll include a Dropbox link in the description below. Uh, so please feel free to check them out and let me know if you can, if you can figure this out. It would be uh, a big help. Thanks again.